hey guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to talk about the asus zenfone 8 mini which is supposed to launch on may 12th in various countries but it is not launching in india as of now yes it will take some time to launch in india probably in june or july but anyways it's launching on taiwan and other countries on may 12th and it has some really interesting specifications mukul sharma aka stop listings has revealed all the specifications and in today's video we are going to talk about the specifications and if you like this video do leave a thumbs up and now let's start the video First of all, let me show you some images of the Zenfone 8 mini. Yes, this time there's no flip camera and, and Zenfone series were popular for their flip cameras. But this one will not have a pop-up selfie or flip selfie which you can call. Probably because it's a compact flagship this time, the display will be pretty small and 5.9 inch Full HD plus Super AMOLED display will accompany the ASUS Zenfone 8 mini. So the display according to a flagship, it's a pretty decent display and, if, and most of the people nowadays prefer compact phones. So this is an ideal choice for them. And it will also carry a 120Hz of refresh rate and the panel used is Samsung E4 AMOLED panel. The protection is also top notch Corridor Glass Victors, which is the latest color glass protection it accompanies. It will also have an optical under display fingerprint scanner. Now let's come to the processor. It will be accompanied with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. So yes, it's a total flagship processor, but to be honest, Snapdragon 888 phones are having heating and other issues. It would be better if they gave a Snapdragon 870 in this instead. Anyways, now let's move on to the next segment, which is the camera. Now, after reading the camera specifications, I was kind of shocked. Why? Because it, the main camera was 64 megapixel main camera, Sony IMX 686. Pretty good camera, it's a flagship camera. The Poco X2 has also used a similar camera and I'm using the Poco X2, the camera is superb. No complaints about that. But the secondary camera, it will ha also have a 12 megapixel macro camera. So 12 megapixel macro, the macro shots will be stunning, but they haven't mentioned officially whether it will be an ultra wide camera or not because we have been seen many cameras doubling up as a macro sensor as well as ultra wide sensor. So if it can double up as an ultra wide sensor, then it's very good. But if it can't, then just a main camera and a macro camera. So no ultra wide sensor then. So this is kind of confusing. Let's wait for official launch for that. The selfie camera will be a 12 megapixel front selfie camera, which will be a fun show like already tell you the images I'm showing in front of your screen. Main camera is supported by EIS. You can also do 8K recording and 4K recording at slow-mo 120 FPS. Now let's talk about the weight of this phone. This is a mini phone. So the weight is around 170 grams. And in, according to that, I will say it's a decent because 5.9 inch 170 grams, it will be pretty compact to hold. Yes. Let's talk about the RAM and ROM variants. It will have up to 16 GB of RAM. Yes, a really compact phone with such massive RAM is something amazing. Along with LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage and 256 GB of onboard storage. Now let's come to the battery. It will be accompanied with a 4000 mAh battery along with 30 watt of fast charging. And why I'm saying fast charging? Because 4000 mAh battery and 30 watt combination is pretty good. So we do not need a 65 watt or 120 watt with this. 30 watt is enough with this one. Now the best thing is that despite being a flagship, it will have a 3.5 mm headphone jack along with Hi-Fi audio and Dolby Atmos support. Now let's talk about the OS. It will have Zen UI based on Android 11, Asus own UI and they generally give close to stock Android feel. But however, they are not popularized for the software updates. So you need to check on that before buying any Asus phones. But however, now let's talk about the Indian launch. We can expect it on June to July. I told you already that. But if you talk about the pricing, according to my guess, it will be below 50,000 of for sure. And it will be around 40 to 45,000 according to my guess. You can also guess the price. And I've already told you all the specifications. So yes, I hope you liked this video. And do like, subscribe and comment. And we'll be back in the next video soon. So till then, bye and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.